guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another weekend product review. This is a part of my Power Smart series, where recently I did a review on their 2200 watt inverter generator. Today, I'm going to be unboxing and assembling the uh, 80 volt Power Smart dual stage snowblower. This is the first dual stage snowblower I've ever had. As you know from my channel, I deal with small engine equipment on a daily basis, and dual stage snow blowers are one of my specialties. Uh, I've never been so convinced about electric snow blowers until I received a review from somebody else on a single stage snow blower that's electric, 40 volts, and it worked great. Really, really surprising to me. So I'm really anxious to check out what a power smart dual stage snowblower looks like. <laughs> I've actually never even seen a dual stage electric snowblower before. So we're gonna unbox it real quick right now and put it all together. So there you go. Didn't take very long at all to install. Um, I didn't read the instructions <laughs> because um, I deal with this stuff on a daily basis. So I know snow blowers very well. It's very straightforward when you put everything together. Not hard at all. Let's clean this place up a little bit so we can check out the features. Okay, isn't that much cleaner now? Um, I use some of my power tools to get it done quicker. To put on the snowshoes, you'd have to put like a little screwdriver on the very bottom, or maybe a couple of coins, just to lift the scraper bar off the ground just a little bit, less than two millimeters. And then tighten the bolts to where your snowshoes are optimal for your driveway. Because it's paved, you only need very little room for the scraper bar. Uh, if you have a granular or rocky driveway you would want to raise the bucket higher so you would loosen those two bolts on the snowshoes and lift it higher you'll see what i mean uh, so it comes with a 80 volt power smart lithium ion battery it has a gauge here where it tells you how much power is in it and right now in the sun it shows full three bars or actually there's four bars right four possible bars and it's only three. So it's about 75% charged. So that'll be good enough just for testing. It also comes with the charger for your 80 volt battery. And it slides in where you see the prongs. It slides in just like that. And then you could charge it. It also came with four spare shear pins Shear pins are what holds the auger blades to the uh, transmission shaft, um, the auger the gearbox shaft, so that it spins. These shear pins are designed to break. If you hit this on a curb or something, it saves the motor. It sacrifices itself to save the motor of the uh, equipment. So four spare shear pins, which are good. Uh, this little bag had the hardware in it to install. And um, like I said, I never read the instructions. Here are the snowshoes I told you about where you can adjust them for the height. That's the scraper bar for if you want to scrape it down to asphalt when you're blowing, you can adjust it with these screws. You can lift it up higher or lower if you want. And here are the shear pins I was talking about. These shear pins hold the auger blades to the axle of the gearbox. 
And if it breaks and this spins and it doesn't throw anymore, just throw another shear pin in there. As you can see, this is the impeller where it has actually a <laughs> similar feature to the Aaron's scoop type three blade impeller. As you can see, these are serrated edges on the um, auger blades. And this is 24 inches wide and pretty high up. So you can get as much as this much snow. Looks like about two feet. Um, as you can see in shipping, this part here is a little damaged and bent inwards. It's not supposed to be bent inwards. Same goes with this one over here. Unless it's designed that way, but, but I doubt it. See how it's bent inwards? I don't know if that's designed that way. I doubt it. I think it's uh, damaged from shipping. Also damaged from shipping is right here. Uh, some metal bar was scraping on it while it was being shipped. So that's that's not good because, you know, you, you pay a lot of money for a machine like this. You want it to be perfect, right? While installing the wheels, you have to make sure that it lines up with the holes in the axle. Uh, this was loose in the box and my clip that goes into this hole is missing. So I'm missing that. And it's supposed to look just like this. And it's supposed to go through a hole that's in the axle. Nice knobby tires. But I need to find uh, one of these things. Okay, I found my own pin. This is an R-clip, it'll do. Um, you gotta be careful with your quality control. I'm talking to PowerSmart because for people who don't have spares like I do, where are you gonna go and find that? It's a hassle for you. You're not gonna get a good feeling out of it just for a simple thing like that, you know? Okay, let's install this uh, battery. Uh, it also comes with a key. And usually the key belongs in the panel here, but I can't find the hole for it. So it's gotta be here. I would say it's right there. <laughs> so uh, let's put the battery in now. Clicks into place, shut the lid. Because this is my first electric dual stage snowblower, these buttons don't look familiar to me. So you have the handle here, plastic, clicks, and you have the forward and reverse button, okay? So I'm thinking you just press it and it, computer knows it's forward. Here you have the shoot up and down directional. It clicks, click, 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 click. And what's great about this is, this actually has a left and right on the directional of the chute, which is very cool. This is for, uh, I'm assuming auger control, right? Auger control for this side. And this is the drive, so it's self-propelled, goes forward and backwards. Uh, here we have the on and off switch, and we have LED lights in the, in the front. Uh, here is your uh, transmission indicator. You know, first speed forward, second speed forward, third speed, fourth speed, and then reverse one. So it has four forward gears, one reverse gear. Pretty straightforward, but just unusual for me because I'm not used to these type of controls. The three bulb LED light in the front. All right, guys, what do you, th what do you think? Should we uh, give her a go? I'm gonna turn it on. All the lights are on and it says forward one. The lights just went out again. All right, drive. The lights just went out again. Fastest. 
So there's a little delay. When you click it to reverse, you push down. It doesn't go back until you wait a second first. All right, let's try the all huh? Uh, you know, the power just went out again by itself. Okay, that's cool. Okay, let's try the auger. So the auger didn't spin and also the, the power just turned off again by itself. Hmm. doesn't work. Only forward. And this doesn't turn if the auger is spinning. So you can't have the auger moving. Just shut off again. So I don't know why it keeps shutting off by itself. That's, that's worrisome. So it doesn't turn by itself while the auger's spinning. So you have to, st to stop to turn. That I don't like too much either. I want to be able to turn while I'm going, you know? It's turning the direction of the snow while I'm, you know, snow blowing. And it shut off again. Here's the LED light. There we go. directions really quick and it's supposed to turn off after three seconds of no movement that's for safety because this is electric it's so quiet you don't know if it's on or off not like a gas one where the engine's running so you know not to touch certain certain things so it's designed if it doesn't move or touched for three seconds it shuts off you just press the button turn everything back on again so now I understand, and that's actually good because you never think about, because it's electric, you're not, you don't hear anything, right? It's quiet. So you could go touch things that are, you know, moving. So actually that's a good feature then. Uh, we won't know if this thing is super awesome because it's not snowing yet, but I do plan on using this the first snow that we get. I'm not really convinced on electric things, you know what I mean? This seems pretty good. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned for when it snows here in New York and the review for that. Thanks a lot for joining me on this weekend product review of the PowerSmart 80 volt dual stage snowblower. Pretty fun to put together, looks pretty good, seems to work just fine.
We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.